Welcome to your walking meditation. My name is Denny Shea Martinez, and I'm grateful to guide you today. This walking meditation will emphasize the feet, the legs, and the action that the feet and legs take in the world. The feet are the parts of our body that touch the earth when we walk and connect us to the ground. In essence, the feet are relatively small and take up little space, yet they support our entire body weight. It truly is nothing short of miraculous how this system of little bones and tendons that are in your feet can be so powerful and durable. There is great stability in the legs. As I mentioned, they do connect you to the ground. They're a foundational element. Although they are mobile, meaning that they have motion, they can move independently of one another. You can imagine the legs are like trunks of a tree and beneath your feet are roots that are energetically connecting you to the depths of mother earth. The stability comes from a continual sensing of how we relate to the earth and our feet is where we will receive that feedback. So during this walking meditation, I'll guide you into noticing the various surfaces below and how you might automatically adjust as you walk. I'll also invite you to explore walking in different ways. Sensing the body as you walk. Sensing the five senses as you walk. Becoming aware of the breath as you walk. And tuning into the subtler emotions, thoughts, memories, any other messengers that arise while you walk. These messengers come to us in all planes of movement and motion and body posturing. So in walking, we also invite ourselves to be a witnessing presence to all that is unfolding in us. The legs and feet are energetically extensions of our root center located at the perineum, the floor of the pelvis, the base of the spine. This is a very cherished spot. It's where our primal earth energy mixes with our human realm of feelings. Think about it as if it was the earth springing up, an irresistible force in us. That primal energy is earth energy and the joy to simply be alive. So as we begin this walking meditation, take a moment in stillness. Making any adjustments you need, checking your shoes, checking the volume. Get a sense of yourself in this external environment that you've chosen to walk in. Let all the senses be open, hearing the sounds all around the body. natural sounds, perhaps sounds that are a bit less natural, but still present. Feel how sound touches the skin. Letting sound come into the body. And not just sound, feel the temperature as it caresses the skin. The 
There might be a bit of sun shining, some warmth. Maybe there's a soft breeze, a bit of coolness. Just let yourself be touched by the environment all around you. Noticing the smells that come to you. Perhaps there's some fragrant flowers nearby or some trees swaying in the breeze, bringing its fragrant heavens to you. Come aware of your mouth and any taste or absence of taste. Let the eyes take in all the visual images, colors, shapes. And being outside, there can be quite a bit of visual stimulus. So take in the whole field of vision, everything you can see, soft gaze. And then you might take a few moments to laser focus, looking at maybe one or two things a bit more intensely seeing deeper structures, variation in color. Letting all of this outer environment come to you through all of the senses, the ears, the skin, the nose, the mouth and the eyes. For a moment, if it feels right, let your eyes close and feel the whole body now in this space. In this nature scape all around you, eyes closed, feeling the body from head to toes. And as attention travels down through the body, Letting attention linger in your feet. Sensing yourself standing, feeling your feet as it relates to the ground, the heel, the inner arches. Now getting a sense what's happening above you. What's happening above the head. There won't be a felt sense connection like the feet and the earth, but there'll still be an awareness to the space, the vastness of sky above the head. And then you might stretch your arms up, reaching up toward the sky. Letting the heart open, feeling gratitude for Father Sky. Big breath in, feeling yourself reaching up toward Father Sky. And on an exhale, let yourself bend at the hips, the hands descending down toward Mother Earth grateful hello to Mother Earth. You might touch her. You might just get a sense of her beneath your feet as your hands reach down. Saying hello to these two polarities of Earth and sky, Father and Mother. Feeling yourself as the sacred child of both yourself inhabiting the space between the two. So letting yourself come back upright.
feeling the body in the space, begin to let yourself rock forward and back. Feeling the body weight shifting into the different points of the feet. Rocking forward and back, feeling the weight shifting from heels to toes. And be sure to bend the knees slightly here as you begin to shift right to left. So feeling the weight distributing fully into the right foot. And then shifting your whole weight to the left leg, feeling all the body weight in the left foot. Going back and forth a few times. In essence, you're activating the feet, beginning the journey of walking meditation. So as you're ready, let the rocking still. Paying attention to your feet. Begin to feel the power of the legs as you begin to walk. Begin to walk slowly. As if a toddler learning to walk for the first time, placing one foot out in front of you, feeling the connection from heel, inner arch, toes, how the weight shifts as you bring the other leg forward, feeling the heel connect. And again, the inner arch, the toes, weight shifting. Letting this walking meditation start slowly, feeling the connection points of the entire surface area of each foot as it connects. Feeling the sense of balance in the feet. There might be one foot that's feeling a bit more stable. Or maybe there's a bit of balance between right and left. Your pace might gradually increase, but still keeping it fairly slow. Let attention be curious to the various textures you feel beneath the feet. If you are barefoot, you are certainly feeling many textures. And even with the shoes on, you might feel different terrains, whether you're on concrete, dirt, sand, gravel, If you have the freedom to explore different terrains in your walking meditation, let yourself roam a bit going off of the path. Feeling these legs and feet, trunks of a tree with energetic roots down into the earth each time you connect the feet, each step you take, a return to Mother Earth, a return to all that is stable, grounded, secure. You continue to find this comfortable pace, letting the senses open once again. They already are open, but let attention sense each one fully. Feel awe and wonder to all the sounds now coming to you as you walk.
Become aware of the borders and boundaries of the physical body, the skin. How touch is being received as you walk. Feeling the texture of your clothing against your skin as you move. Noticing any smells, new smells, different smells as you take your journey. There might be various friends in nature that bring different smells, different aromas. Becoming aware of taste. If you need to massage teeth and gums with your tongue, bringing a bit more moisture and sweetness to the mouth, let yourself do so. As you continue to find movement walking on this journey, let the eyes be receptive. Nice, vast viewfinder, soft gaze, taking in a large view. All that you can take in with the eyes. Seeing it as one beautiful image coming to you. There might be something specific that catches your eye, a little movement, a little color, a shimmer of light. Let yourself take a deeper look. You might even pause. Take a moment in stillness to gaze upon something if that is what is being called of you to do. In this walking meditation, you are timeless. So let yourself gaze upon a bird, a tree, a flower. Allowing this time of walking meditation to be one that is a full embrace of Mother Earth, Father Sky, and all of the friends in between. If you find that you have paused to gaze upon something, you might resume your walk slowly at first, feeling the connection of heels to toes, each foot as you shift the weight. One foot in front of the other. As you walk, sense the body in action, the stability of the legs, how foundational the legs and feet really are to us. So feeling the whole lower land of the body as you find movement from toes to hips. Noticing sensation at the ankles, lower legs, front of the knees and the back of the knees. Our largest bones and muscles, the upper legs, feeling the quads and hamstrings. how they connect to the hip, the pelvis. Feeling this 
movement in the pelvis as one leg extends forward, the other naturally back? Is there a particular movement or swaying action in the hips as you walk? Feel how that invites the muscles, the structures of the torso to also find a little movement. Sensing the shoulders, the arms, the hands, how they too find movement. A subtle sway back and forth as the legs move. Neck, head, face. Sensing the whole land of your body. Walking in motion. Received by the sacred mother earth. Witnessed by loving father sky. As you sense your body in motion, you might imagine yourself taking a stroll. As you pay attention to the feet and the ground beneath you, notice what happens as you begin to imagine that you are walking to go meet a lover, a friend, someone you've been hoping to see. So let yourself walk as if you're going to meet them. Notice the pace in which you're walking and the awareness that you have in your body. Now imagine you are already on a walk with a friend, a lover, a family member, someone cherishing you and you cherishing them. You're beginning to slow it down. You want to extend every sweet moment you have. So begin to let your gait slow, stretching out these moments. Now imagine you're on a great search, walking as if you are looking for something, knowing that it's just up ahead. You're hunting, looking for something specific, letting yourself walk toward or to, feeling the activation in the legs, and the pace in which you're moving. Now invite yourself to imagine there's something just in front of you that is miraculous. And if you walk too loudly or too fast, you might startle. So you walk quietly and slowly as if you're observing something that hasn't seen you yet. So let yourself walk quietly, whatever that looks like for you.
And inviting yourself to walk as if God is in every step. Mother Earth, Father Sky, and all in between in every step. And set your pacing free, allowing yourself to resume a pace that is comfortable. See if you can find a bit of a slower pace. If your natural pace is a bit rapid or fast, see if you can slow it down and still enjoy yourself. Knowing that there's no final destination. We're not tracking the miles or steps. That in essence, this is a walk with the God in us and all around us. So finding a nice, comfortable pace, still enjoying yourself. Feel this continual movement of the body. And perhaps linking it to the movement of your breath. So you might imagine as you move with each in-breath, energy flows up from the earth to support you entering the feet. And with each out-breath, the used energy flows back into the earth. Sacred mother transmuting, recycling. Feeling each breath in this way as you move. Inhale that earth energy, drawing it up and in. Each exhale, releasing that used energy, letting it flow down and out back into the earth. Breath and movement coming and going, happening continuously. Breathing in, taking in life all around you. Knowing that the pranic energy that nourishes you is nourishing the trees, the grass, the flowers, the plants, the birds, the squirrels, the creatures nearby. For a moment, can you witness this deep underlying connection? Witnessing yourself walking. Witnessing yourself walking in your environment. Feel what it's like to be the witness of this multi-textured and layered experience. The outside coming to you. The inside lighting up with feedback and information. Mother Earth, Father Sky.
feeling the aliveness and vibrancy of this experience. Connecting to that primal earthly joy to simply be alive. If there are messengers of emotions, thoughts, or memories that come in and out of your experience, let them like clouds in the sky. Knowing these messengers are returning us back to the larger whole of ourselves. and how we belong, feeling the sense of belonging with all that is surrounding you. There might come a time where you naturally slow down completely to stillness once again. Maybe the eyes close and tension moves down and into your heart space. Your hands might touch the heart as you feel gratitude for this time that you've had. The walking meditation, reminding you the support and comfort of Mother Earth and Father Sky. Gratitude for them being our constant companions. And to any and all creatures, plants, trees, all the things in nature that have been your companion and have visited with you on this walking meditation. Feeling your feet once again on the earth, you might reach down and touch the earth as a thank you. As you inhale, you might reach up, taking your arms up toward Father Sky. Again, a thank you. This concludes our walking meditation. And although the practice is formally concluded, I do invite you to take some of these principles with you as you're walking and moving throughout your day. Sensing external environment and internal feedback attunes us to our body awareness. Connects us deeper to ourselves and others. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you.